Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. It's exciting times once again as India launches Chandrayaan-2, the country's second mission to the moon. The rocket for the mission is the GSLV Mark III, which is India's biggest and most powerful rocket to date. The mission consists of an orbiter, a lander and a rover and this will explore the south pole of the moon, a region that has previously been unexplored by other missions. The word Chandrayaan means lunar vehicle. The previous lunar mission launched in 2008 and functioned in orbit around the moon for a year. It carried an impact probe which was flung from the orbit onto the lunar surface. When this probe hit the lunar surface on the south pole of the moon, it helped discover water ice underneath the surface. This is the region that the Chandrayaan-2 mission will also be exploring. The GSLV rocket is still not powerful enough to carry the craft all the way to the moon. Instead, when released in the orbit, the craft performs a series of orbital raising maneuvers by revolving around the Earth. Each time it goes around the Earth, it gathers more energy and raises its height and thus finally escapes the Earth's gravitational attraction and goes on its way to the moon. After it reaches the moon, it again performs a series of orbit lowering maneuvers around the moon before settling into a circular orbit of 100 kilometers from the moon's surface. On a designated day, the lander is released from the orbiter over the south pole of the moon. It performs a soft landing and lands stably on the lunar surface. Once it's safe and steady, it then releases a ramp onto which the rover descends from the lander on the lunar surface. The rover is capable of traveling 500 meters on the lunar surface and will immediately start sending back pictures from the moon after it is released. The orbiter carries eight payloads, the lander carries four and the rover carries two. These instruments will be used to perform different scientific functions on the moon's surface and in the moon's orbit, such as studying the composition of the wispy lunar atmospheric gases, the mineralogy of the moon, the surface geology and monitoring for moonquakes. This is Sandhya Ramesh from Bengaluru for the Print Science.